And we welcome you back to Sofia, Bulgaria, the men's free skate. And on the ice, in fourth place after the short program, Igor Pashkevich of Russia. The music, Andrew Lloyd Webber's Variations on a Theme of Paganini. He chose that because he feels the eeriness of the music. By the way, these scores for Vyacheslav Zagorodnik for technical merit, 5.8s and 1.57. And for presentation, 5.8s and 5.9s. He is still in first place. And this combination, first a triple axle, very nicely done, double toe loop. Really solid. Now this combination that he has planned, triple Lutz double toe loop, very important. A, at least a complete triple Lutz, but the landing not secure enough to put in the double toe. You know, Igor Pashkevich, though finishing 15th at the 94 Olympics, showed some promise and then kind of disappeared last year. Spent four and a half months off the ice with an infection and a virus that paralyzed half of his face. He missed the Russian nationals, the Europeans, and the world. But earlier this season, came back to finish second at the NHK competition, just behind the reigning world champion, Elvis Stoiko, and just ahead of one of the favorites here at the European Championships, Philippe Candeloro of France. There you have a look at the spider on the costume of Igor, reflecting the theme of this long program. And that makes these particular movements understandable, these arm movements. jump Pashkevich finished third at the Russian National Championships this year right behind Ilya Kulik who was also here in Sofia and the Russian world team has yet to be named we have no doubts Alexei Ermanov who won the gold at the 94 Olympics will be one of those but the second and final spot still up for grabs between Kulik and Peshkevich. Really not very big, but certainly continuing to show that he's a, a relatively mature skater. A final combination spin. Scratch spin. He's, he certainly is very aware of the music. Very conscious of the choreographic intent of this program. Igor Peshkevich of Russia in fourth place heading to the free skate, trying to make the Russian world team.
And the unique sounds of the streets of Sofia, ever present, even in the midst of a cold Bulgarian winter. We're back in Sofia with one final look back at some of the other performances in the men's free skate. And this was Philippe Candeloro, who made major mistakes and skated one of the most poorly thought out programs I've ever seen. The defending champion, Ilya Kulik, fell from second to third place because he singled and doubled so many of his triple jumps. And the British champion, Stephen Cousins, was in third place and the door was wide open for him. Unfortunately, he did not step through it. So with the win, Zakharudniak will be a force at the World Championships and a dilemma for the Russian Federation. Do they place Bashkevich, who finished second, or Kulik on the world team? And a disappointing finish for the popular Philippe Candeloro, 